Do you know how Amazon and eBay got rich? Well, it's because they created a multi-vendor store and they have multiple vendors selling on their website. You can have your own multi-vendor store with Doken Cloud and you don't need to worry about hosting or any type of installations. Everything is super easy with Doken Cloud. So let me show you right now. What's up, everyone? I want to show you this multi-vendor store that's cloud-based and this is brought to you by Doken Cloud. That means that you don't have to worry about hosting, plugins, installations, downtime, etc. It's all taken care of by them, right? So in this case, I've already installed my Doken store front and this is my main panel and this is my store. I can sell physical products or digital products, but in this case, vendors are going to take care of everything. That means I don't have to invest a ton of money of products. In this case, they're going to do it. So it's a great way to have a store without the need to invest because they're going to take care of it and they're going to take care of everything like shipping and, and digital products, etc. from this. All I have to do is provide the store and that's what I'm going to do with the Doken Cloud. So getting started is super easy. You're going to go through a few first steps in the beginning to let you know that you have to set up your store name, your logos and all that good stuff. But if you have to do that later on, go into settings and you're going to get started with all these processes right here. Let's get started first with design because I want to show you the themes available here. So first off, this is the theme that I have, and this is what I'm using right now. If you want to change it, go ahead and add a new theme. And if you want to customize the theme that you have already, go ahead and click right here. And it's going to take you to the theme builder. So in this case, I have my templates available here, header and footer. And if I want to edit, for example, this main page, I'll go ahead and click on the edit. And I can edit all these elements. I can move them, remove them, edit them, etc. So for example, if I'm not going to use the trending categories, I can just go ahead and get rid of it all at once. So let me click on this delete button and I'm going to save it. And you have all the options like you would on a website like SEO and all that good stuff with Doken Cloud. I'm not going to dive in deep into the editor, but I want to show you the capabilities of it. All right. So there you go. That's for the theme. And then we have the pages in pages is where we're going to add new pages if we need to. But by default, these are created and we can go ahead and modify any of these in the editor mode. All right. And once you have that ready, go into settings, go into general. And obviously this is going to take you through the process when you first start setting it up, but you can go ahead and edit all of this later on. So you got your units, your metrics, your basic, your business details, the domain. In this case, I am using the normal domain provided, but you can add your own custom domain and the branding options right here. That means that when a vendor signs up like this panel right here, they're going to view SaaS master in this case. And this is their logo for their vendor site. Before I show you how it works on the vendor site, let's continue here. All right. So again, you set up your general settings here. You got your teammates are going to help you out with taking care of the store and making sure that everything's working fine. Your billing, your payments, your payouts, your shipping information. So the shipping that's going to be provided, you can add the shipping types right here. Notifications, tax, SEO for this store and the policies for this particular store. Now, once that's set up, I do recommend that you jump into integrations. If you want to enable live chat, MailChimp, SMS, analytics and marketplace, just go ahead and connect each one of these once you're ready. Now, the good thing about this is, is that we're able to view, for example, all the products in our main panel from all the vendors. In this case, I've only created one vendor with one product, but I can view all the products right here. This is the vendor SAS and he uploaded this product. I'm able to view everything right here. Same thing goes with categories and brands. I can create them right here and the orders that are made. No orders have been done right now, but I can view them, all right? And then I can view a list of all my vendors that are here. So in this case, this is the only store name that's available right now, but I'm able to view all the vendors and I'm able to edit the products. I'm able to visit the store to see everything is on point and with the policies that we set for our multi vendor site, right? And we're also able to view the customers that have been buying on these multi vendor stores. Well, on these stores, actually, from the vendors, right? So it's basically super easy to set up everything. Once you get through the first setup process, you're just going to take care of viewing that everything is working fine. Your products, orders, requests. Make sure you create the subscription plan for these vendors. Are they all going to be on the free plan? No charge at all. Or are you going to create a paid plan? Yes, you do have the option here. You can create, for example, a silver or a gold diamond and platinum etc set the description the pricing or is it going to be free if it's going to be priced go ahead and set up the price here the billing cycles enable trials commissions capabilities the products so you got a lot of fine tuning here when you create your uh, plans right here for subscriptions store settings can they create coupons yes no allow multiple access numbers seo all that stuff i mean 
it has a bunch of settings that you can set up for the vendor side, right? Now, for the vendors, is it hard for them to sign up? No, not at all. So if I go ahead and visit my store, okay, here we go. I can become a reseller by clicking here, or I can create something here on the page or go all the way down here and become a seller, right? So in this case, this seller uploaded one product, not a lot of information there, but it's one product. Here's the details and descriptions, specifications, and the reviews for this particular product that they uploaded. See here, sold by SaaS. Same thing goes. If you go to Amazon and eBay, you're going to see that it's sold by certain people, sometimes from Amazon because they receive the products and they sell it for you. But it's a multi vendor store, right? Super easy to sign up. And when you sign up, it's a straightforward process with steps that is going to guide you to set up your own store. So in this case, this is my store as a vendor. So I signed up as a seller. In this case, I'm selling coffee stuff, etc. And I got my own panel. I can visit my store. I have my own products here that I'm going to create. So if I need to add a product, go ahead and do so here. Set the product name. Is it going to be a standard product, physical or a digital product? You got your description, categories, images, attributes, variations. So if you're selling products that have small, medium, large, if it's a cup, a t-shirt, etc., colors, you got your variations here. Pricing, inventory, shipping, tax. You can set this as draft or publish brand tax and availability on the storefront. So all this is super easy for them also to create a product. And me as a seller in the store, I'm able to view the orders. I'm able to set up my shipping preferences because it might change. It doesn't have to be the same ones as um, everyone else's. I can have my own. I have my own custom shipping, carrier based shipping, etc. The profiles ship from address, the payout details. So here's the request payout. That means that the multi vendor creator, the admin, can make the payouts, all right? And you can set that up in the payout section on the admin side of the multi vendor admin, all right? In this case, I'm just a storefront and I can choose to request my payout. This is great because, I mean, you have control of what these vendors are doing because you have the money locked in. So that means that they're not going to scam someone. You can make sure that they're receiving the product and that's not scamming someone, all right? And then I have my own marketing options here, like coupons, and I can create my own coupon here as a vendor. So for example, I had a title, the discount, is it gonna be single code, multi-codes? I can generate the code, descriptions, the, the amount, is it gonna be working shipping, the usage limits, so minimum purchase amount. I can say, you know what, this person needs to purchase at least $200 to get this 10% off discount, etc. You got all these details here with validation period, all right? Created super easy. And then I have my settings for my vendor store. So I can add my own logo, my title, the logo for the icon, the fab icon, the about store, store details. If I'm going to have some time here, for example, it's going to be open on Sunday and set the timing there. My social handles that are going to be viewed when they jump into my store. Remember over here, it says sold by SAS. Well, that's going to be my store where they jump in. All right. My team members on my store, the payments, the payouts, the plans and bills, and the live chat if I enable that over on the admin side. So it's extremely easy to create a multi-vendor store using Doken Cloud. So no more worries about uploading, installing, taking care of something, adding plugins, and making sure that everything's working fine, that I'm not having issues with server load, etc. Multi-vendor system here that's cloud-based from Doken Cloud is the way to go if you want to have a smooth ride for your multi-vendor store. So if you want to check it out, the link will be provided in the description and you're going to get started right away. Trust me. All right. So check it out. Doking Cloud, link in the description. And that's a wrap.